approximately one year ago, we received six short fin pilot whales that mass stranded in Key West, Florida at our critical care rehabilitation facility here at Miami Seaquarium. These whales have a very interesting history. They had severe medical problems when they arrived. This is really unprecedented. Um, this is the first time this many whales from a mass stranding has been able to be rehabilitated and released. And this is largely due to the research that we do here at the Seaquarium. We're excited and uh, thrilled to be a part of the whale release mission that's coming up uh, first thing in the morning. The uh, deployment of whales from two HH-60G Pavehawk helicopters is a new and unique uh, system that we've uh, developed in conjunction with the Miami Seaquarium uh, personnel. The, uh, the mission represents uh, a lot of training events linked together that we don't uh, ordinarily have the opportunity to do. This aquarium is, is basically one of the only places around that is outfitted to handle a mass stranding or, or a large number of animals at any one time because of the size of our facility. So we were called initially and we responded. The rehabilitation for the whales took a great deal of time and up until a, about three or four months ago it was still going on for these guys. These animals were cared for for two solid months, 24 hours a day. With the animal care staff here at Seaquarium and Dr. Bossert's guidance, we jump-started their internal organs again and get them functioning once more. These guys are now uh, ready to go. They're in perfect health and they're real energetic. They're eating each about 30 pounds of fish a day, so they're ready to go back to the wild right now. The female was nicknamed uh, at the Navy base. He was Baby Schwarzkopf because he was very tiny when she came in. The male's name is Sharky. He was out on a flat in about three feet of water. And when they got out there near him, there were about six lemon sharks circling him. And when they looked at him, there was a shark tooth sticking straight into his back because he had been bitten once already. But they got there just in the nick of time. And they pulled the shark tooth out of his back, and that's how he got his name, Sharky. This is certainly the first time we've had an airlift uh, to release stranded whales, and certainly the first time whales have been put back through this type of technology with the containers and to offload them in the way that, that, was, uh, that was devised. So there are a lot of firsts here. We're real pleased with mission results from today. We were, uh, we're very uh, pleased with the weather conditions on scene. Everything went just like uh, clockwork. It couldn't have been planned and executed better than it was. It was an excellent mission.